everyone and welcome to Positive Bites. So for this week, we are going to make a breakfast dish. The dish of the day is a potato, egg, and cheese waffle. And it requires a waffle iron. So basically from what I could tell from the pictures, you would just kind of mix um, these hash brown potatoes, egg, cheese, some bacon bits, stir it up, and pour it into a waffle iron. So I was like, okay, that's real simple. We know waffle iron takes less than 10 minutes. Uh, what I just said, pouring something into a bowl and stirring, that is so simple. And I love breakfast. So I'm hoping it turns out really good. So we'll see. So let's go ahead and switch on over to demonstration and let's see how it goes. This recipe asks for the Simply Potato Southwest Style Hash Browns, one egg, cooked bacon or if you like you can buy uncooked bacon and just cook it and finally shredded cheese it left it open for what type of cheese so I went ahead and got cheddar since that's my favorite so to get started you want to cut your bacon into small pieces the cooked bacon was kind of hard to cut so it was easy for me to just pick it up and tear it into little pieces if you bought the uncooked bacon this would be where you would cook your bacon and now be back to cut it now we're going to measure one and one third cup of our potatoes. And now we're going to crack our egg, add it to a bowl, and then we're going to add our bacon to the bowl and our potatoes to the bowl. Then we're going to top it off with some cheese, adding just however much it is that we like to add to it. And then we're going to take a spoon and just stir it, making sure that everything mixes well. And you also want to keep in mind your egg and make sure that blends well throughout. And your waffle iron should be off to the side heating up. So now we're going to spray our waffle iron to make sure that our waffle does not stick to the iron. We're just going to add our mixture, spreading it evenly throughout. My waffle iron is pretty shallow, so I did more spreading. But if you have a deeper waffle iron, make sure that you kind of get it down in those deep little pockets that it has. So we're going to close the lid and let it cook for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes we can take it out and be careful because it is going to be really hot and it can be a little tricky to get out of the waffle iron. So once we add it to our plate, this is how mine turned out. Hello everyone, I am here to try our potato, egg and cheese waffles so let's see how it tastes. got a little greedy but it is very very good actually I mean for the fact that it didn't take a lot of ingredients we just used the waffle iron this would be a really good solid breakfast like everything worked together really nicely like I could taste the cheese taste the potatoes um when I get bits of pieces of bacon I could taste that as well it actually turned out really good so I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up so i will be right back with our positive message of the day all right so we're back and i'm happy to say we have a thumbs up it was actually really really good i'm definitely thinking that i'm going to try this out in the future um it just felt like i needed some more to go with it i don't know if that's just because i'm a greedy person or what but i don't know i just need some sides with that like just eating that by itself it was good but it needs some more to go with it. I need a, a feeling hearty breakfast, you know. So that's all I have to say about that meal. So now we are about to switch on over to our positive message of the day. And this week's message is, every day set this simple goal of being more awake and less distracted. So this is like, I think, the best little quote for this young generation that consists of myself. We are like so glued to technology and just all this extra stuff that I feel like we miss out on so many things that just happen around us. Like for instance, I take the train, I'm a commuter. And so oftentimes I'll be kind of on my phone the whole time. Well, no, not really, because I always am aware of my surroundings. That's one thing. Make sure you're aware of your surroundings because some stuff goes down. But, you know, I find myself sometimes being on the phone. I'm just like, I'm on here a little too long. Like I'm just... Missing the fact that I could just look out the window, just immerse myself in my thoughts and just, you just miss out on just those simple things, just, just the simple things in life. And I feel like that's because we're so distracted. Like we're definitely 
distracted by our technology. Definitely. Like, that's a huge cause of distraction. So, this week, I want to challenge everyone and myself to let's limit the time we use with our technology. Like, these phones, let's, let's chill. Like, let's not use them just all the time. Let's not check Twitter and Instagram as much as we do. Let's just take a chill pill and just live. Like, notice what's going on around you. Be observant and not stuck in technology. So that's that's the goal, well, the challenge of the week. So let's try to everybody. So again, I really want to thank you all for watching this episode. Again, follow me at Pinterest.com slash Positive Bites. Comment below if you have any recipes that you would like me to try out or if you have any positive messages that you would like to share to everybody, please let me know and I will definitely feature them on a future episode. So again, thanks for watching Positive Bites and I will see you all next week.